So I told that filthy to get up out my face before I whoop his monkey Back to the Stone Age. I'm gonna show you how to bleep those naughty words in your videos. Watch your mouth now there, boy. I have footage of a bad person running his dirty little mouth on the main track. I need to separate the curse words so I can replace that bad language with bleeps. First thing I'm gonna do is pinch out on a timeline so I can stretch it out so I can see more frames of this clip. And then I'm gonna move my playhead over to the position where the first naughty word is. Now, you may need to play that to hear it. I'm not gonna do all that. I know where the naughty words are and uh, I don't want you to mess it with me. So I'm just gonna move the playhead to where the naughty word is. I'm gonna tap on the video and then I'm gonna tap on split. Then I need to move the playhead to where the naughty word ends. And you wanna tap on split again. Then if you have more naughty words like I do, you wanna move your playhead to the position of the next naughty word. Tap split. And then move it to the end of that naughty word. And tap split again. With our splits all set up, we need to mute the sections that have bad language. So we'll tap on the second clip here where we have bad language. Then we'll tap on volume. And then you wanna tap on mute. Any other clips with bad language, you wanna tap on those. Tap volume. And once again, you wanna tap on mute. So now when this plays back, you won't hear the bad words anymore. But people can still use their imagination and read your lips so we're gonna cover up those lips whenever the bad language was said. We wanna tap on this second clip here where the bad language was said. Make sure that our playhead is at the beginning of that clip. Then we wanna tap on the overlay icon. And we're gonna tap on photo. Then we're gonna to go to the location on our device where the photo is located. Tap the photo that we wanna to use to cover up his lips and tap on the plus sign. Then you wanna place your finger over this little curved icon here and you wanna go ahead and hold it down and you can pinch in. You can turn the words a little bit if you want to and place it right over his stinking mouth. Then you wanna go ahead and go to the end of the picture. Hold your finger over the end where you have this white line and drag this in to trim it so that it's just over the section where the bad word was said. Now we wanna add an effect here to just kinda of enhance when the word comes onto the screen or where the part that covers up his mouth comes on the screen. So let's tap on effects and then we'll tap on beating. We'll tap on back. And now instead of going through all that again, we're just gonna tap on duplicate to duplicate this clip that we just created. We'll hold our finger over it until we have the yellow bounding box around it and then we'll drag it to where any other bad words are. If we need to, we can trim it to make sure that it fits. Next, we wanna add a bleeping sound wherever the curse words were set. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on the second clip here. Then we're gonna go to the media icon. We're gonna go to sound effects. We'll tap on miscellaneous. And down here at the bottom, you have a sound effect called bleep 03. So we'll tap on that and we'll tap on the plus sign. And it'll add it where we need it. You can tap on it and hold our finger over the end and trim it back. Once again, we can go ahead and duplicate this. Hold our left finger over until we have that orange bounding box and drag it over to the other bad word that was said. So now we're gonna go ahead and tap on the empty part of the timeline. We'll drag our playhead back to the beginning and we can play this back and see what it looks like. So I told that filthy to get up out my face before I whoop his monkey back to the stone age. The nastiness has been rectified. If you wanna use the PowerDirector app to change the volume instead of removing it, check out this tutorial. Don't forget to smash my logo to subscribe, hit me up with your comments, and drop me a like down below.